Hello and welcome to your first tutorial in a series. So, this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to create a platformer. Now, I'm going to be going through it stage by stage and I'll help you create a level that is fully functional and also very well like um not kind of scripted but you'll you'll see what I mean basically we're only going to be using at most possibly three four uh, sheets event sheets there you go so the way we're going to do it is using a leveled counter and we're just going to have different bits so for this tutorial series you're not going to need the full version of Construct 2 but if you have it it's going to be a lot easier for you and in that sense it's because you can use sub like like groups these no not them these um, it also helps because obviously you'll not have any restriction on your events now I'm not sure how many you get let me just um I think it's a hundred yeah it's about a hundred something like that um okay I don't know if that's gonna make sense I just paused it and went a little bit insane a little bit insane in the memory no okay so yeah this series is gonna be pretty much making a platformer making it fully functional and keeping it as clean as possible so first of all as always we're gonna start with the menu just in case you don't know how to make any buttons at all it's gonna help so create a new layout as well as an event sheet and we're just gonna call this level one we're gonna call this event sheet levels not the song the event sheet yeah okay so we're gonna want a layout size of around I don't know you can pick this bit but I'm just gonna have 90 no 1280 by 720 did I get that right no 1280 720 and we're gonna have this half of those numbers so we're gonna want in here we're gonna want 640 and in here we're gonna want 6 no 360 there we go so, we're going to use all of this, but we're just going to have this bit sit viewable at once. Okay, now I'm just going to create one, uh, well I'm going to use some of the sprites that I've already got, just so that I'm not wasting time. I don't know why I'm in there, but you know, I will. So we're going to check one of these that I was probably going to make but then didn't okay we'll use this one so we we'll use player oh no we've got to we've got to do that a different way uh, so we'll just get some textures from it instead we'll use that and we're just going to scale this down to 64 by 64 there we are. Snap to grid and show the grid. Because we're going to be working with 64 and 64 tiles. That's what we want. And we're going to want the first bit like that. So, we're just going to create a little decorative thing here. These aren't seamless textures. Or are they? Hold on. 
no they're not seamless textures so you might want to do that yourself or you might not I don't know it's completely up to you but I'm just trying to do this as quick as possible so if you don't know how to do this you just hold control and you click and drag and it'll duplicate it now this is a function that we're going to be well not a function this is going to be a feature that we're going to it's going to be a feature that we're going to be using quite a lot because rather than having multiple texts if we're going to use text we're just going to use one version of the text and um, yeah we're just going to be using UIDs quite a lot now doing this isn't the best way of doing it it is the best way of doing it even even though the UID number is going to be massive whenever we add anything else, it is still the best way of doing things. And I can't. Oops. I'm going to go up there. When you're doing this, just be careful because sometimes you can hit this and then that'll turn it around, obviously. You don't want that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just grab those and boom hold on let's just let's try that one again let's get them there we go better yet let's just get them there we go so you can just hold control after selecting them all and do that so there's our background now obviously we're going to go into our layers we're going to name this background like that there we go and we're going to save this in our project file and i'm just going to call it platformer tutorial series plat dot dot sir awesome okay so we've got this we've got the background we can lock it next one we're going to want is our main slash ui now ui stands for user in interface it's actually gui which is graphical user interface but um you can call it ui if you want that's what I do anyway, it's easier. Okay. So, what we're going to have on the main menu, just for now, is a couple of buttons, but in the future we're going to make the buttons better, and we're going to have an animated background. Possibly either a video playing in the background, or a um, an animation of our character jumping through a level, possibly, I don't know. We'll figure something out, but for now, it's just going to be a simple text menu. Now, like I said, we're going to be using the exact same text whenever we create it. So, I'm just going to name this play. No, not plat, play. Good typing on my end there. Just call it menu text. And we're going to go ahead and make this. I don't have all my uh, fonts installed on this new windows which is a shame so I've only got the default ones I think we'll have that one no, no we won't we'll have Verdana or oh, that one, okay I'm going to have it bold and make it pretty big uh, yeah, why not make it pretty big, there we go click press C click press C and click press C I'll center it completely now we need to find the center of this which would be this one I think we just look at it I'd say that one so one up two up the 
there and there. So we've got. Oh no, I'll tell you what, we'll move that down, that there, and that down. There we go. So this is going to be load, and this is going to be quit. Or exit is probably better. And we're going to change the colour of all of them to red, or pink, whatever that is. Uh, it's more red. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do is in our menu, we're just going to go ahead and click. Oh, no, 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 we need um, the mouse. There we go. And we're also going to need the keyboard. Here we go. So, mouse on object clicked, menu text. Press S to make a sub event menu text picked by unique ID. Just put one 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 for the minute. Go to menu and the UID for this is two forty. So in here, instead of one 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 it's gonna be two forty. You can just copy that three times. Two four one and two four two. There we go. So this one, no, no, no. Make sure you add the action under the sub event. Otherwise, it won't work. We're going to want system. Go to layout. That one. Level one. This one. System. Load from save. Nope. Just load. Just load. And um, we're going to name our save later. We're just going to call it tot plat underscore save done. So that needs to be the same name. Actually, what we'll do is we will just to be on the safe side, we'll store that in a global variable. So we're going to call this save name. It's going to be text. The initial value will be tot plat underscore save. And we'll give it a description and we'll just say our save name. Okay, so in here then we're just going to load save name. Yeah, there we are. Did that in the wrong area, make sure you don't do that. And then this one. We're just gonna have where are we? There we are. Web browser under here, browser close. So now if we hit oh we need to um set the behavior scroll to save play there we are so play we'll load that load won't do anything at the minute because we don't have the save and exit will close down the tab now to find out if it's closing down the tab or the actual thing you can just open up another tab and click exit and as you can see it closes the tab and not the browser so that's it for the first episode. Next episode we'll be going on to actual fun stuff. And that's the level. And um, yeah. Thanks for watching.